Hello everyone, I'll be doing an update video on my plants. I know I haven't done one in a long, long time. But that's because there's nothing interesting to really see during the summer. Fly traps usually look their best during the start of spring and towards the end of fall, I think. That's when I personally think they look the best. Right now, all of them are all green and it's watering time for me. When I water, I wait for the trays to be completely out of water. The plants aren't dry, the trays are. So it usually takes about three days. And this is the third day already, so it's time to water them. I, I do tray watering. It works for me. And Fly Trap Stores uh, says that it's better to do that instead of watering from the top because they can, be, they can get crown rot. And if I'm speaking a little bit too loud, I'm sorry because I do not know how loud to speak. This is my first video with the fans on. I recently got a new fan. I'll show you right here. It's an exhaust fan. And then I use this fan right here to blow air into the fly traps. And you see this mess, distilled water. I know I should throw it away, but I'll do that when I clean the greenhouse because it needs a cleaning anyways. So right now I'm gonna just water all the plants and then we'll take a deeper look into them. It is 99 degrees in here, which is crazy. And I'm sweating so, so much. So I waited to do this video around six or seven o'clock. Right now it's uh, let me check real quick. seven o'clock. And uh, I'm in the shade, so it's a lot cooler. And I have the fan blowing on me. So it feels way, way better. So each, each tray takes a gallon, I put a gallon per tray, and that's usually enough. It's a little bit too much for these smaller ones, and I think it's just right for the big ones, the big, the big potted ones. Now here I'm gonna put a whole gallon, but it might be, a, or it might, it is gonna be a waste of water, just because I only have three plants here, but honestly that should be fine. And if you're wondering, these three plants weren't here before, well, it's because they're new and I'm gonna go in, in depth with them and tell you what they are. Let's just hope mosquitoes don't breed in this. Okay, so I'm done watering them. Now let's start with the originals. So here I have a uh, cup traps from curious plant honestly i think i'm gonna stop ordering fly traps from curious plant they give you the plants way too early from tissue culture and it's just gonna take a while to acclimate them to your conditions and i honestly don't have time for that here's dcxo it's still huge the traps are a little bit smaller because of the shock when i brought them out here this one too although this trap is freaking huge and gaping and it also made a whole bunch of babies DC or not DCXL most Venus fly traps divide a lot when they're under stress so I'm guessing it divided because it's stressed out here I have FTS maroon monster dividing a lot because it was stressed this one actually got sick if you remember watching my older videos this one alien this one's from curious plant this one was doing a little bit bad as you can see it made a whole bunch of babies so it is stressed out but it's getting better 
This is fuzzy teeth. This was the only plant from Curious Plant that was actually very big and, and vigorous. Uh, I think they gave me this one not too early out of tissue culture. It was actually probably hardy enough already. And yeah, even though it looks kind of bad, that's because I gave it a urea pellet because I wasn't sure if fly traps can eat that or not. And apparently they can't. Here is Alien from Flytrap Store. If you remember in my old videos, this one got really sick and it's still doing very, very bad, but there is some little babies. Here is King Henry. It's doing, it's doing uh, I wouldn't say good, but it's not bad either. All of my plants don't look very good right now because this is my first year with them and this is their first time in my condition. So next year, they'll do awesome. Here I have La Grossa Gigi. Uh, you can make fun of me, but I don't care. <laughs> but this is an awesome plant. It's supposed to get very large. Let me stand in the way of the wind so it doesn't shake too much. Again, all these plants are looking a little bit bad. Here's Kim Jong-un. Very, very nice, weird one. And then, oh my god, this one's always eating. Oh uh, no, I thought this one had its mouth closed around it. Usually they do that to each other. I have no idea why. They just grow wild. You can see they're just everywhere, but this is Korean Melody Shark. It grows very crazy. Here I have a Drosera Capensis in the back, but we don't care about that. Uh, here's Southwest Giant. It's getting very large actually. This trap right here is pretty big see this one it gets very long thin traps that can barely support themselves and they made these traps before I got the fans whenever you have fans the fly traps make stronger stems so they can actually support themselves here I have werewolf as you can see it grew a ton since I've gotten it there's GJ Goliath very awesome You're getting huge Here's Trident, another very awesome plant. I really like this one. It's almost like cup traps. It, I would say cup traps is the baby plant for this one, and this is the medium. And then Lauchopates, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, Lauchopates, Diona Lauchopates, is the, the bigger version. It gets longer traps, but it, it has the same trap structure. structure. Here is St. Patrick's Beard. Again, Jeremiah told me it might not make any pom-pom traps this year, but next year it should. And next year, everything will look completely awesome, trust me. Venus fly traps, they take time to acclimate, and it's usually about a year or two years before they can look their best for you. Here I have SD Kronos. DJ Bloody Nurse. Now this one's supposed to be bloody, but I don't know if you knew this or not, but heat, heat plays a big role in how much color your fly traps make. So temperatures over 90, your fly traps are gonna look more green compared to temperatures under 90. They'll be really, really colorful. Here I have is it spider and not creeping death they're about the same spider and creeping death they look pretty much the same very wild plant here i have long red fingers i have no idea why it rotted away probably because one gallon of water is a little bit too much for you guys but the other ones are doing awesome so i have no idea what happened to this one but if you zoom in right there boom you can see plants or our little babies here i have dracula looking pretty good it'll focus there you go it's hard to get back there oh you can see a giant trap that it made here is jaws i have a ton in there i need to divide them and split them off because when when venus fly traps are divided they actually grow bigger they get bigger traps here we have scopist i don't even know how to say that honestly So yeah, that's that. If you zoom in to the leaves, you can see that this translates to scary stalk. 
and as you can see the leaves are very weird. Here we have FTS flaming lips. Again, no color because of the heat. FTS flaming lips also gets up to two inches. So does Jaws. They're not, or Jaws is considered a giant, but FTS flaming lips is not considered a giant. It's just considered a colorful fly trap, but it is a giant. Here's FTS towering giant. Not so big yet, but it will next year. Trust me, guys. B-52, I have no idea what happened to this. It honest, the health of it honestly declined a lot. Here's DCXO. If you're wondering what happened to the DCXL that was right there, I sold it. Here's Whip Slim Snapper. This thing is wild. Sorry if I'm shaking so much. Here's purple ambush, it's dividing a lot, so it's stressed out a little bit and it's more green. Here's redder giant, it is, it is doing poorly. I think the water is getting to it, but oh well, it should do fine. It is way too hot and I do not want them to dry out at all. Here is bohemian garnet, the new ones that I got from Jeremiah. And I'm very surprised, Jeremiah is freaking awesome these these traps are huge and this one i think was 14 dollars and look how huge this thing is jeremiah is too kind look at this this is arching flat skinny leaves he says that he never sees anyone with this plant in their collection so i decided to get it because why not and then here we have Guava Sawtooth. Guava Sawtooth is an interesting one because the trigger hairs are really thick. They don't look really thick in here, but when I see one, I will show you guys. Sorry about that. My camera is not doing well today. But yeah, guys, that's it. That was just a quick little update. I know it was 12 or more than 12 minutes. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe and comment what plants you'd like me or yeah, what plants you would like me to get. Bye guys.